Hey guys, it's Mike with Rule Life Photography, and this is this week's Tip Tuesday. Have you ever um, bought a preset or bought presets or made your own presets, whatever it may be, but specifically to presets, um, where you find yourself doing the same tweaks over and over and over and over again? So in this case, a bunch of presets that I that I like, and specifically some of my own presets, uh, I add grain within Lightroom. And <clears throat> for whatever reason, sometimes I don't want grain or I I just want to remove grain or it doesn't have to be just grain. Maybe you adjust the contrast. Maybe you adjust the shadows and the highlights, whatever it may be. Um, but you find yourself making the same exact tweaks constantly uh, on that particular preset. And what you want to do is either is save off a preset. So... Uh, this tip here will show you how to update the current preset to your, what your new settings are. So for this particular photo, I think I'll use, I, I'll just click on ROP, we'll do O2, right? And you can see that I have added grain right here and I wanna get rid of that because I don't want it to be part of this preset anymore. Now I could simply go over and create a new preset and save it off as no grain but this is specifically I wanted to show you guys one feature it I, I never really noticed it until probably about a year ago or so to where I can update a uh, update a preset so um, I one click this preset you go ahead and make whatever adjustments that that you normally tweak in this case I'm gonna take down the grain all the way to zero and then I would go back over here right click the preset and go update with current settings and this little pop-up will pop up and now you just select everything that you changed so in this case I would go ahead and check none and then now I would go down here to effects and check grain and then update so I'm gonna reset that now I'll go back over here to O2 for whatever reason it didn't go go to O2 here and now you can see that the grain is at zero and that's saved off now so that preset is updated with the settings that I just selected within that menu so that was just a quick tip for tip Tuesday if you guys have any questions or you want to see something else specific for uh, a tip on tip Tuesday please shoot us a message over on the snap maven Facebook page and we'll see if we can work it in. Thanks.